All right, folks, it's your Gibbs, and we're back. This is, what is this game we're playing here? This is Haunted Hotel The X. Of course, we all know the X stands for 10. Now, what I really love about this game, I'm going to call it out right now. What is the color theme you see right now on your screen? What's the color theme? What's the main color that you see right now? Yes, yes, Amber got it. That's right. Yes, Beth got it. <laughs> yes, YouTube Red. I, it's such a small thing, but man, I just, you know, like the trees are red, the tractor's red, the X's are red. It's all kind of neat how they did that. Lots of red. So that's right, folks. This is, of course, live. Now, I've got lovely folks over at Hitbox.tv watching me. And of course, I've got some folks over at YouTube watching me live. The rest of you folks that are watching this after the fact, oh, oh well, you're missing it. We're going to go ahead and get back into the adventure. So look at all this stuff here. I've got my handy-dandy camera, which is really makes me think of Dire Grove. I've got Adele's ring. Wing emblem, a bunny, a blade, a thread, and gasoline. So let's go ahead and see what we got going on here. There's definitely something under that grate. I can pull it away with the tractor. And I just saw that morph. 9 out of 21. Glove me. Glove me. Oh, we're going to have to stitch that, aren't we? But we don't have a needle. Somebody's crying. Oh no. Ooh, we're gonna hotwire this tractor. Love it. I need that fan blade, but I've gotta remove the color. Where'd my screwdriver go? Hmm. This is a strange place to load it up with gas, but oh well. What are you gonna do? It's petrol! We have added petrol! Oh, we lost that there. Looks like a horseshoe. X. Oh, there's the little girl. We're coming for you. We're so happy. Maybe I can pick the lock. I don't have anything to pick with. What am I going to use the knife on? That's the bigger question. The skull is missing. Uh, um, you think I can use a knife here? No, it won't let me. The wire piece might actually be something we use to pick the lock here. It's Fallout 3 lock picking! Or I guess Fallout 4 is the right uh, game to call now. Oh man, I... Ugh. This is not my favorite type of lock picking. I'm not even sure what I'm doing here. So I've got to basically do brute force. So three is the first one. Let me write that down. <laughs> yes, uh, thank you for the skull, Jonathan, but I think that emoji is not going to help me out here. All right, what are we going to do? I think we go one. Nope. Three. Two. So it's three, two. We'll try one for this one. Nope. Try two. Oh, come on, game. That wasn't even fair. Stop doing that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I have to do two. That's why. One, two. Th I'm going to guess this one might be four, actually. Oh, look at that guess. Holy cow. Excellent. Let's try one for this one. Oh, <laughs> all right, folks. I'm going to let the chat help me out here. You have a 50-50 chance of getting this correct. Do you think it's one or is it two clicks I'm going to have to do here? Come on, chat. I know you can do this. One or two clicks. Mm -hmm. Everyone's saying two, two, two. I think you're correct. We have a 50-50 chance, but let's go ahead and try. Yay! Way to go! You guys are awesome! And we got to save the little girl! Oh, we're breaking things over here. 
The fan is busted. She's probably scared of me. How can I earn her trust with her uh, bunny? Oh, she wants to talk to me. Thanks for saving me and bringing my toy back. I'm Becky Clark. Hi, Becky. I was playing hide and seek with my mom. I wanted to find a really good hiding spot, so I went into the woods and found this place. I liked it here at first, but then Nanny Adela said I couldn't leave. She locked me up. Nanny is strict. I think she's evil. She's keeping someone else on the third floor, in room 313. Please help me find my mom. Maybe you can use this. Maybe I can use that. Thank you. We're going to go ahead and get right into this backpack here. We're not going to waste any time. Pencils. Oh. Needle. The fan is busted. Well, let's go ahead and fix up this glove, I guess. Hmm. Wow, we are stitching like crazy here. Now, what thorn bush do I have to stick my <laughs> glove on? Uh, still not able to get this out of here. I'm going to need that fan somehow. What are we going to do? Uh, oh, I like the little button here, too. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Something over here. There could be de something dangerous in there. I should use something that can help me. Ew, spider webs. Really? A glove won't work? Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Why doesn't a glove work? Good question. Back here we go. Maybe the brick will work? Looks like a horseshoe. Um. Oh, there's no horn. Darn. We need that feather duster right away. It won't let me use this as a screwdriver. Honestly, it... Oh. <laughs> okay, the brick is for the gas pedal, apparently. That's... I didn't realize that the tractor was running, to be honest, but... Anyways, we're good. We totally got this. Now we can reach over here and pull that out of the way. Now we got ourselves a button. That looks like a GameCube controller. That's right, I know what a GameCube controller looks like. It actually looks like an alien hand, too. Now that button might actually have to go back here on our lawnmower. It's probably the choke or whatever. Oh, we're not gonna cut the grass? Aw. Horseshoe, come with me. I'm gonna go ahead and put that horseshoe right there. And now I have myself a metal rod that's all bloody. Why do I have a metal rod that's all bloody? Hmm. Still think we could have pressed the, the actual spring without the button? I don't know. It feels a little dangerous to me. Whoa! What are we pulling out of here? Glitter! Oh, that's one way to make glitter. Excellent, excellent. We got 50 people over at Hitbox. Welcome to all of you. I hope you're all having a fabulous Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I don't think we've had 50 in a long time. Yeah. Ooh, we need that cherry. I'm sure of it. Oh, silhouettes, you're just silly. Oh, ho, 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 ho. spider! Arachnophobes, look out! I suppose it could be Monday for some of you folks. That is very true. That's a lot of... Okay, jump scares. Enough of that already. Whoa, there's our spider buddy, back for more adventures. Let's see, I need a leaf. 
I don't know what this is, but I know that's a paintbrush. Kind of creepy that there's a noose here. It's a Black Widow spider, is it? Alright. Kind of creeping me out, though. Whoa! Click the spider! Oh, maybe that's not what we need to click. Whatever the heck that was, we got it. Okay, Cherry, let's go. Oh, we've got a Ghostbuster situation. Let's see what Cherry number two will do. Cherry number two. Number two? Scooby-Doo? This game is so Scooby right now. Oh boy, I am so scooped out. Look at that. Rust disappears. We now have ourselves some cutters. Because, you know, cutting and stuff. Let's go do that. Yes, no news is good news. Yeah, that's true. No noose is good noose. Let's go back down. So why do I need these cutters? That's a good question. Uh, not sure if we can cut that off there. No. Hmm. Not sure. I don't know where we're gonna get the GameCube controller. Oh, we use it on this fan. I thought we needed a screwdriver. All right, that's one way to do it. I'm gonna put that over here. Apparently, this is gonna get rid of all of that yucky cobweb. Ew! <laughs> Look at the cobweb physics. Wow, that was very nice animation there. We have a GameCube controller. Excellent. Uh, okay. Another slot. Cut, cut, cut. We now have ourselves some rope to make a lasso. Sure. Oh yeah, I'm all about being a hipster. I actually, um... I don't want to spoil this, but no, it's not really a spoiler. So I have got quite a collection of consoles. So what I actually did about a week ago is I bought this glass cabinet and it's got one, two, three, four, five, five, one, two, three, four, yeah, five shelves on it. And uh, what I've done is I've actually put all of my old consoles in it, cleaned up an area of my house, and I can't wait to kind of move it into the new studio, but I've definitely got a shelf with a GameCube on it. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that. And I've actually got an empty shelf, which is where my PS3 is going to go. Because my PS4 is going to have a new home in my house when that does show up. But I have an empty shelf right now, and that will be where my PS3 goes. No, it's actually... I think it only cost me like $150 from Ikea. Now that's like Canadian dollars, so that's like... I don't know. What is that? Just a little over $100 American. But, uh, you know, it's not super fancy, but it does the trick. It's a four, four glass sides, so every side is visible. And then I can put all my fancy tools on display, or my fancy toys. Uh, I, once I'm all set up, you'll be able to see it. But for now, it is what it is. <laughs> well, it's either that or I store all these things in boxes, right? So I thought I'd put them out on display. Now, where the heck am I here? Oh, this rope's going to help me over here, isn't it? Whoa, what the heck is this? Let's have fun. Whoa. Uh, sure. How does this work? I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing here. Stop the sliding balls on each of the X's. Okay, there you go. Yes, I'm a hipster gibster. Will I play until dawn? You know, I've got that question asked so, so many times. I'm getting a PS4, but it has no games. So I'm going to have to see what happens for uh, Gibster's Christmas here. I don't... Well, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, let's go up here. I definitely... Until dawn is on my short list of PS4 games for sure. Alright, I've got snakes. Oh, they came to life. 
We now are ready to go to room 313. Samantha, hello. Where's my sister? Wow, I don't like the looks of this chair. Good grief. I will return for revenge. That cannot be a healthy chair. Ooh, I just saw you morph there. Where's a crowbar when you need one? Uh-oh, we're gonna have to figure out what the right code is. This doesn't look like Sherlock Holmes. Actually, it looks like the guy from the previous hotel, um, Haunted Hotel games. I forget what his name was, but he was in, I don't know, a couple of the previous ones, right? Alright, let's go ahead and listen to this cassette here. I think I'll be safe in the locked part of the room. I'll put a camera here to record everything. Nanny, that's the code. Creepy code is creepy. Nanny code. Is this where the nanny cam is? Nanny? Where the heck is that? And there it is. Oh, I missed A. Oh boy. So that's gotta be N then. Oh, so close game. Somebody's walking in behind us again. Nanny. Oh, that was that's what that guy's name was? James? Okay. James over here, his portrait is on the wall. He was the previous detective, wasn't he? Uh oh, we got the ring to kinda open that up. And we now have another angel ring. Or angel emblem? Wing emblem? Oh, whatever. This game is so scooby. I'm so scoobed. <laughs> oh my gosh, what the heck is this? Connect the knobs from left to right as shown in the top slot. Turn any knob. Trace where it connects and turn the corresponding knob. Okay. Ah. Uh... Oh, okay, okay, I remember this kind of puzzle. This is kind of a little trial and error-ish, but... Once you solve the first couple, it gets a lot easier. You're trying to 